Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. In this video, we have more adventures with my sawmill. Uh, I have a neighbor, his name's Bill. He's about two minutes away from me. He also has a sawmill, but he only does custom orders with pine. And he also sharpens blades. So I had my blades there, he was sharpening them, but he had a walnut tree and he offered it to me for $250. So of course I took it. Uh, but by the time I went and picked it up, it turned into three trees. Uh, I figured I was paying about $1.50 a board foot. Now that they're all sawn up, I think it cost me about $2.25 a board foot. Uh, but I'm not sure actually how much I think I can make with them. So now that it's light outside, I've got my tape measure. I'm going to go make some notes. And at the end of the video, I will come back and I'll tell you what I think I can make from each of the the logs. My neighbor had to fix a portion of his driveway before I could pick up the tree and I was on vacation for a week and when the time came for me to pick it up he'd actually come across another 18 foot section of black walnut. This wasn't as nice as the other tree but again it was 18 feet of black walnut and the tree had bifurcated so there was going to be a crotch section although one of those limbs had fallen away so it was a pretty jagged edge and the straight part of the tree had a little bit of twist in it so it wasn't going to be that great of quality but i didn't want to pass it up and he gave that 18 foot section to me for another 250 dollars so we cut it in half and we loaded all three logs into my trailer the logs sat on my trailer for a little bit and then when the time came to cut them i took them over to my friend james house and took the sawmill over there as well He's got a nice little tractor that's got a grappler on it that can lift the logs no problem, so it's very helpful. We loaded up that first log that had a little bit of a twist in it. That was going to be the first one to cut. And you want to be aggressive with that first cut, but in this case, I was a bit too aggressive. And we ended up going back and I made that into a bit more lumber and gave it to James. But we just turned this one into dimension lumber and it was pretty good. I think it's about nine inches across and I got about seven or eight boards. Now I actually split the cost of these three logs with my friend John. He's also a woodworker, does a lot of furniture. So uh, I split the cost with him. So now that he's kind of a part owner of these logs, he was also going to help me saw them up. We also decided we're going to cut everything into about two inch slabs. Now the next piece we're going to cut was going to be the bifurcated piece that had uh, fallen away or the limb had fallen away. And we were just going to slab this one. So it got it onto the sawmill, took a pretty aggressive cut right off the top of it so we could flip it 180 degrees. And then we just slapped it from there every two inches. This is the HGTV shot. <laughs> where somebody gets down on it. And... <laughs> now our last log of the day was going to be the the nice one or i had my hopes on this one uh, again it was about 36 inches across i can only get about 25 inches through my sawmill comfortably, so we had to make a little bit of a game plan on how we were going to cut it. As soon as we get it up there, all this plan's going to change. Oh like, no! <laughs> just cut it, just cut it! Everybody got a plan. We got the log onto the sawmill, but the part we wanted straight up was about 270 degrees off, and we tried to rotate it in the, the clamp of the tractor. It didn't really work, so we just worked it onto the sawmill against the squaring jigs. We did get it though, took a chunk off that one branch, then we had to rotate the tree 180 degrees and then take another chunk off of the other branch. We got it down to about two feet or 24 inches, which gives me about an inch and a half between each of the guide bearings to pass by the tree. Once we had it narrow enough that we weren't gonna have a problem with the guide bearings on the blade, we got it flat onto the sawmill we took a nice pass off the one side, rotated it 180. We slabbed it out every two inches, so we have a nice live edge on either side of the slabs. 
In the end, we ended up with about six laughs from this log, and I'm pretty happy with that. Once we were done cutting, we loaded them up onto the trailer, and then it was back to my house to sticker and stack them and have a good look at them. Okay, so here's the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, I've got my notes here. On the dimension lumber, I got six boards out of that. I figure I have about a 82 board feet. I know I can sell it for about $7 a board foot. So that adds up to $575, which is pretty good because that would pay for all three logs. Uh, I averaged out the next two logs, the ones that had the crotch figuring, uh, the one tree that had the limb that fell off and the jagged edge. Uh, I wouldn't say that's premium, but with the figuring in it, I think I can get about $10 a board foot. There's about 100 board feet there, so that's 1000 bucks. And I always imagined with a log like that, uh, I would cut one side of it completely straight and it would be like a side table or an entryway table, something that's going to go against the wall, or you could actually flip them around and, and well, I wouldn't do a river table, but uh, you could put the live edge on the outside and make a, a dining table or something if you put two of them. Not that there's anything wrong with epoxy tables, they're just not for me. And finally, the last log. It came out wonderfully. I'm very happy with it. I only wish I had a wider sawmill so that I could have kept more of the branches coming nice off of it. Uh, but I also got six slabs off of that, so I got about 125 board feet. That premium black walnut with that type of grain, I think it's going for about $15 a board foot right now with the live edges. So that would bring the total for it. Uh, up to about $1,875. But of course, all this may change in the next year. Uh, once we were done playing with buckets of water, we stacked and stickered it. Probably next spring, next summer, I will be throwing it in my solar kiln to dry it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please list them down below. And like always, please like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.